So this one, it's going to be similar, but you can see how it's got like a wood grain. I'm going to show you how to make this wood grain and turn it into a pattern swatch. So you can see I've got the pattern swatch up in the corner in your swatches panel. And you can also select to show just the pattern swatches if you want by clicking this button here. Go to pattern swatches and you can see it's just going to show that one. So if I create a shape and I click it, it's going to have my pattern that I've created. No matter what shape it is, you can see. So it's really handy. Pattern swatches and are really awesome and fun to use. So we're going to make a new one. I'm just going to get rid of this layer because I don't need that anymore. And I'm just going to move these to the left. And I'm just going to create a square using the, um, the rectangle tool. So we're going to drag this out. Um, and then I'm going to use the eye chopper pressing I to make this square. And you can see, I'm just going to make sure I go back to my swatches. And you can see I'm going to start using these colors. I'm going to drag a box for the bottom here. And as again, select both of them, shift them, get rid of that. Press T for the type tool and we can actually start typing again. I'm going to type lumberjack. Another cool trick we can do as well um, is if you select this type, we can go to object, sorry, type, go to type, change case and go uppercase. And you can see it's changed it to uppercase, which is pretty awesome. Usually this font, I'm going to actually change the font actually. If you go to Bernier, you can see we've got this nice font. You can see if you go to type and if you change it, because it's an all caps case, it doesn't render it. It's only if it's the letters caps. And I'm going to change it like that, which is pretty awesome. Bernier is a nice font as well and it's um, free. So that's good too. I can also change it to distressed to get like a nice feel. You can see it's got some texture in there, which is I like, kind of like. So we've got our type there, nice and simple. It's good to, you know, build some nice color. So it builds, you know, some contrast um, and that's what we want. So to build this pattern, what we're going to do, all I want to do is just create a box. And we're going to make the size 400 by 400 up the top there. And then I'm just going to left click and we're going to try, sorry, shift X. And then what we're going to do is try and build our pattern within this. So I'm going to press control two and just lock that. I'm going to press P for the pen tool. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start building out strokes. So I'm going to left click and start just building out some lines to make it look like it's a grainy um, wood pattern. So it's pretty easy to make wood. There's other ways to do it as well. But usually this is how I do it. And you can just usually select these and copy them over. And what I'll usually do as well, I'll go make it round. And you can just, you know, play around. Hold Alt or Option to just copy pieces around. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you want some variety into the lines. So make some shorter, make some really long. Just so it looks more organic and more, you know, playful instead of unrealistic. Because we don't want them to be too stiff. Even maybe we want to have like a little, you know, curvy bit or something. So, we've got, so after you've done that, we've got our pattern. What we can do, I'm going to select the stroke and I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to select this. And what we can do is just click and drag it into our swatches panel. I'm gonna, make sure you drag it up the top so it clicks in. So you can see we've got this square now. And if I drag it out, we can click that. And we've got our pattern that we can use. Another way you can do it as well, instead of, just, instead of having a box, you can just delete that and we're going to select all these and go object path, sorry, pattern make. And then you can play around with the settings. You know, usually I leave it on grid, but you got some few options there. I usually go grid and then play around with this 
to make to try and line it up to make sure like it's perfect and we can use it. So after you've got that swatch, I'm gonna make a copy of it. So I'm gonna press Control C, Control F. So we've got a copy, and I'm gonna select the wood pattern. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna go to Object Transform Scale. Click that, and what we can do, tick off Transform Objects, and we got the uniform, and now we can bring this up or bring it really low, so you can get that cool pattern. So maybe you want to be like that. That kind of looks all right. I might edit the pattern by double clicking on it because there's too much spacing. You can actually make copies and edits live, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to edit this. So it's more close together. So yeah, we've got our pattern. And now what we can do, if we go to the transparency, we can go play around with our blending modes. You can see if I click, you got all these blending modes. So you can play around with this. I usually go and multiply and then I'll make it less. So maybe 30%, which is pretty awesome. So we've got it looking like a pattern over there, which is awesome. So we've got that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this axe over. And I'm just going to use it. And I'm going to use it as a template. So we can use this shape. I'm just going to lock it. And we can start building out. So if you press P, another good way as well, actually, I'm going to grab a, you can go to Google and just grab an axe. And you can actually trace it. So I'm going to select this, press copy image, go back to here, paste it in, control V. And then we're going to lock this and then we can actually start tracing over it now. I want to shift it to put it on stroke and maybe make it a lighter color so you can see it. just so we can see what we're doing. So I'm just using the pen tool. I'm just going through here, clicking and dragging, and do as less points as you can, just to get the smooth curves. You can see how we're getting smooth curves because we're doing minimal points as we can. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. You can play around with it. And then we can go shape battle tool, shift them. And now we have our axe. We'll see if I have a, we're gonna go make a gray color. See, I'm gonna group these together. So now we have our axe. So you can use different colors or you can just select it all and then we're going to unite it again. Pathfinder tool. I'm going to change the color. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to press it, press O for the reflect tool. And then usually I'll try and find the center of the square. You can see. And then I'm going to hold Alt, switch it, press OK. Make sure you actually select um, copy because it's not going to copy it over. So we've got our axes now, which is pretty sweet. You can always go back and edit in here if you want, but that looks fine. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build a square, hold shift and M, and we can lock that in the middle. And then what I'm gonna do, you can go to our stroke, you wanna drag this out. So we've got our stroke, we're gonna make it bigger, and then round it off, and we're gonna click dash line. Click that and you can actually play and get this nice cool stroke effect. So if you drag this and you can also make a gap if you want the gap to be longer. 
You can make it shorter. You can make the stroke smaller as well, which is pretty awesome. So I'm just going to try and get uh, small dashes, even dots as well. But we'll get smaller dashes. And if you click this button here, it shifts it. And you can see the corners, it won't line up. But if you click this, it will line up the corners perfectly. So I'm going to change the color. And so we have that done. Now we're just going to build some extra circles. So now we've got our three badges and they're looking awesome. You can always go back, as I said again, and you can go in, select them and play around with the colors by going color guide and then clicking on the little color wheel there. And you know, you can play around with cool, um, <laughs> different styles, even colors. This looks pretty cool. You know, you can get some cool effects um, that will look nice and that are fun to play with. Which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, that looks fine. Press OK.